What's going on traders? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be showing you how to open up and set up Think or Swim by TD Ameritrade. If you're part of the channel, if you watch the live streams, you know mine looks a little different than how it's set up when you open an account. So we're going to follow through step by step on how to do that, set up the indicators, how to open up the account, download the software. Without further ado, if you haven't already subscribed, we are live Monday through Friday. Uh, drop a like on the video without further ado, let's hop right in. Um, Safari, so you want to type in on Google, open TD Ameritrade account. Once you click this first link here, it sends you here. So 99% of you would be opening up an individual account under most common. You open that up, open an individual account, you put in all your info, you're gonna need your social security number, um, an ID, visa number, passport, employer's name, address and phone number under financial inform and personal information. Um, after that, you go to contact information, personal information, you fill that out, financial information, you fill that out. Everyone's gonna have different numbers. Review, agreements, user ID and security. This is one of the most important parts as well. You wanna get your user ID and your password. Once you have all of that done, you go to download Think or Swim, put that on Google, click the first link. And this depends on whether you're on PC and Mac. I have them on both, but here they are installed um, for Windows users. This is on my PC where I trade. I have a MacBook right now where I make my videos. So I have this for Mac. So you click whatever one um, you fall under the category and you should have a file. So you follow the steps on there, you follow it through, and you get, the, you get the software. So once you open that app, there will be a little screenshot here on the screen where it tells you the information. You put in your username, you selected, you put in your password, and make sure it says live trading, because I want you guys to have this for your live trading account, but I'm using the paper trading, as you can see here on the top left, PM, paper, uh, paper money simulated trading account. This is fake. Um, this is the fake simulated account, but everything falls under the same on the same categories for the indicators, the trades, the charts. Everything is similar to the live account, except this is just simulated. And there's delayed data on the paper trading by 20 minutes on your live trading account. Make sure at the top left corner it says live and connected live data. I'll put up a screenshot on how it should look like. If not, reach out to TN Ameritrade, call them and, sell, and tell them you want live quotes. Now for the interesting part. Let's get it looking how it's supposed to look, how I have it, how to, how it could look appealing, uh, visually aesthetic, and it just looks beautiful and simple. Best charting software pl a platform out there. Shout out to Think or Swim. Top right corner, first and foremost, you wanna hit set up. Application settings. You go to look and feel. Notice how it says dark. There's light, you could go light if you like that, but mine is old school TOS, old school Think or Swim, which makes it look like this. You hit apply settings, there we go. That's the first step. Now usually I don't have a watch list I go off of. I just remember tickers off the top of my head that I am watching. But bottom left here, you could drag this as you want. You could take off some of the features such as live news, quick chart. Since you have a big chart here, you really don't need a small chart. You could extend it. Um, you could click top right, uh, delete gadget. This is uh, TD Ameritrade's own like news station. They have that live now. Um, you could click on CNBC US. They also stream that, but it's Saturday, so they're not gonna be streaming. Um, you see it's currently away. So if I wanna take that off, I put delete gadget. Usually I only keep the watches here. You click symbol, put in Apple, boom, there we go. It tells you the last, the net, the net change, the bit in the ask. You could also drag it onto there and it pulls up the chart here. What a weird candle here, by the way. Uh, I also have NASDAQ forward slash NQ. NASDAQ, drag it here, pull it up really quick. Of course, favorite stock, Tesla. Tesla, we could pull it up here as well. So that's the, the left-hand column on watch this i usually don't have it like i said i go off the top of my head you could also move this here to the side so you can have a bigger view of the chart you could also hide your balances it tells you the starting balance on the certain dates you could put that here for the privacy it also covers your your account number up here well, this is paper account so that's why it just says total all the accounts um for even when i'm streaming i cover that number just so people won't try to like hack into my account um but to change ticker symbols you go here top left right here Let's pull up Apple once again, AAPL. Like I said, I go off the top of my head, memorizing tickers as you go. It makes it easier to just switch charts. Different time frames. My favorite time frames are already default. It's one minute, five minute, and the four hour. And you have that beautiful view here of the four hour and you could draw your trend lines. The trend lines are up here. You go to studies. Actually, the, the indicators. Let's add my two favorite indicators, exponential moving averages. Where do you go? You go to add study, moving averages, where are you at? Moving average exponential. You click that. 
it's already set at nine. You want to change that. I have it at 13. How do you change that? Studies, edit studies. You have here, um, you can see price moving average, moving average exponential. You click the little gear icon. It says close. You want to leave that. You want to leave it as no. But you want to move this to 13. Whatever color you want. I believe I have the blue one set up on mine and yellow for the SMA, which will go right now. Um, this is your preference. You could go change it to dotted lines, but I just leave it as the lines. Okay. Apply. Boom. You see how it's slightly changed? I have it as that. Let's put okay. Next one. Let's add the SMA, the yellow line, the simple moving average. Add study once again. Moving averages. Oops. Add study moving averages. Moving average simple. Where are you at? Right here at the very bottom. Simple moving average. And this one's set to what? Two. Okay, let's change that. No, oh, it's set to nine, actually. I'm sorry. Uh, simple moving average, set that 200. 200 days, by the way. That's the number, 200 days. 13 is 13 days for the other one. Change that color so they won't be identical. Uh, any color you want. I have yellow. Okay, apply. There we go. We have the 200 SMA. So those are the only two indicators that I use. Of course, if you have any other trading account, any other charting software that you use, that you like the studies, launch your bands, MACD, RSI, whatever if the case may be, you could add that here as well. Um, all studies, you can search them by, by letter so it can make it easier. There we go. Look, RSI is up here. M, where's the MACD? MACD, here we go. So you could add that, but I just like to keep it simple. Another thing for the charts is I love the closed candlesticks. Uh, they're not closed. The red candlesticks, the green candlesticks are not closed. So I go to gear. Where is it at? Price axes, no. Appearance, fill up. So see, you notice how you could fill the candlesticks? Some people change the color sticks, the, the candlesticks, just to avoid the necessary stress of seeing red candles. They change the color to purples. You could do all of that. You could also change the color of the background. I like to keep it dark blue. So click apply, hit OK. Also, the volume, you can overlap the volume, guys. So, so it won't have to be like this. I just keep it like that because when I'm day trading, overlapping the volume gets kind of in the way. Look, I'm overlap the volume, apply. Notice, see how, see how it went to like the background? I don't like that. So I keep it as is, like that. One last thing would be hotkeys. So you could, you know, here on the right side, you have um, times and sales. You see the order flow coming through. Of course, the market's closed, so we have nothing. Active trader, what I use, you see a profit and loss, your average price of whatever position you have, your profit and loss on the day, however much up or down you're on the day. If you're swing trading, holding that position for a long time, your profit loss since open will show there since you initiated and opened that position. We'll cover hockey's right now. You could also change these um, order defaults. So these are share numbers. You'd want to buy their default. You could change that. We'll, we'll, we'll go over that right now. Level two, you see the bid and the ask on the stock end. Handy dandy, your live news on the tickers. So top right, let's go to hockey's because I do have hockey's. Uh, you have to be able to sell and buy within the seconds and just hockey's um, hop that out. So we go to active trader, clear all of this default, default none. So what I have it as is I shift, I use my shift button. So you could use control alt, but I use shift and notice how when I click shift right here on the right side, it's already activating it. So it already knows that I have shift here. If I take it off, it's still on there, but it says this hockey must contain a modifier. You have to use one or, one or, one or the other. I use shift. It's just my fingers comfortable like that. Um, better than an option or better than control or alt. So shift, I'm buying at the ask. So get rid of this, click none. Right here, buy at the ask. Custom B, shift B, Y, B for buy. Makes it simple, right? B, there we go. And nope, not alt, not control, just shift. When I sell, I sell at the bid. So sell bid, S for sell, makes it simple. And you, you get used to it on your on your keyboard. And then again, shift. So we're, set, we're buying at the ask with shift B. And we're selling at the bid with shift s and that is it so i would have to hit click apply settings and there we have it we have shift and b notice how i hit shift b look i didn't have to go right here and buy market shift s sell look it automatically says you want to sell 100. now how do we change this number here look i'll change it 500 shift b boom 500 look position so there we go let me see top right let's go to application settings where are you at or defaults there we go quantity we could change it to like five you want to do an increments of five so you won't have to be 
changing um right so you want to be typing it in this little quantity box all the time it gets annoying you could also do a default if you want to always buy a market go for it i wouldn't recommend it i do limit and this is for stocks i don't do options or futures on here anymore so apply settings and notice that we're back at increments of five so shift b notice how it says, notice how it says five it will send it shift again shift b this is what i do i don't have i don't have this box here i think it takes up time so what i do hit auto send if you hit auto send it, it'll automatically auto send it so you won't have to um approve the order so b see now it's 15 we cancel we want to hit cancel hit x cancel all orders so shift b look it'll automatically send all orders look b b b b b b, b. we have we want to buy 20 50 shares look boom there we go right away cancel all these order or you want to sell shift s you want to sell there we go see without click of a button without without moving your mouse pad you just hit your, your hockey so very very simple um you could also move this on here so it won't take up all the screen like i do i have it like this so this makes it easier so you won't have to be typing in quantities because that takes up seconds and stocks move in seconds and so you want speed speed is everything when you're trading so that's pretty much it very simple straightforward i love the setup i love think we're sim there's days where it does tend to be slow and crash that's the days where every other broker crashes when there's huge volume coming towards the market but overall such an amazing broker and if you found this video of, of any value uh, make sure you guys drop a like subscribe to the channel comment any questions you have or anything i missed that i might have not covered also up here quick heads up i use the market watch so let me see where is it i visualize so i have a setup like that so just every time i go to market watch you see how the market's doing the overall sectors you have public um you have bio you have a lot of things you have your own personal watch just on down here you have the indices a lot of things as you can see here indices you could go by um index public all these etf all these sectors and your own personal whatever you have so um finance rates alerts you have the um economic calendar all these events which i just use other news sources for that usually i'll just use a visualize as you see on the live streams but that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching again subscribe drop a like and i will see you guys on monday for another live stream peace out have a good weekend guys